Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I wanna walk you guys through how to create a vision board for your clothing boutique. So some people are either really into vision boards or others may be a little bit more skeptical. Either way, I think that vision boards are a great way to really start to think about what goals you wanna set for yourself for the upcoming year or for the next few months, wherever you are in the year. So here you can see my vision board for 2022. You'll notice that I did write down some of the categories um, while others I left off. So let me go ahead and walk you through them. The first one we're gonna start off with is Aesthetic and that's located in the top left-hand side of the screen. So with Aesthetic, I actually thought it would make sense to put a lot of photos into its own vision board to capture to truly capture what I would like my aesthetic to look like this year. So I did create a separate vision board for aesthetic, my aesthetic board. So with this one, what's great about creating an aesthetic vision board is you can really start to think about what type of photography and styles you want to capture and sell in the upcoming year. And you can use this to think about what you want your Instagram feed to look like, what you want your website to look like, what's your style. And this is really important if you are an online store who's trying to set yourself apart from all of the other online stores who carry a lot of the same brands as you. You can really create your own aesthetic or style and when people are looking for that aesthetic, they know to go to your store, even if you're selling the same products that some of the other stores are selling. So with mine, you can see that I have a certain kind of color palette that I'm looking at this year and style and type of photography. Um, you can see some lifestyle photos as well as some where you're just posing for the, getting up different angles for the photo shoot things like that. What is super handy about having this, having an aesthetic board, is that when you are thinking about purchasing new products for your store, when you're shopping with different wholesalers, you can pull out this vision board and you can say, okay, does this piece of clothing, does this product, does it match the aesthetic I'm going for? And if the answer is yes, then you know, okay, well then this is something that I could put potentially buy. But if the answer is no, then you really want to think through, does it make sense to buy this piece of clothing if it doesn't fit the aesthetic I'm going for? So once again, if you're trying to branch out into a certain niche and have a very particular style, having an aesthetic board can be super helpful. Now the next photo on my vision board is to the right of the aesthetic photo. And this is my goal for a new backdrop. For this year so I do have a new office this year and I will do a tour once the backdrop and everything is ready um, but yeah that's my next goal is just to create a very visually appealing backdrop that I can just have ready at any point to film videos create content for TikTok and Instagram things like that now for you if you do not need to create a new backdrop for yourself, you could put something else here that would be new for your store. So maybe you wanna to start to sell swimsuits and you've never sold them before, so you're introducing a new product. That could be your new thing to add into your store. It's up to you. So the next photo I wanna talk about is routine. Now I think it's really important that in the upcoming year, I set up for myself a solid morning routine and a solid nighttime routine. And I want these routines to really set me up for success. And the reason that routines are so valuable is I find that when you wake up in the morning and you're debating between three things that you could do first, let's say, well, I could wake up and work out, or I could make a smoothie first and then work out later, or I could watch this YouTube video that teaches me about marketing and branding that will help me with my business. When you're sitting there and thinking through your options, you end up delaying the decision and you might get distracted and then find yourself browsing social media and all of a sudden it's 30 minutes later and you've done nothing. 
and you've wasted 30 minutes. So if you have a solid order of steps that you do, a solid routine, you know, first thing you, in the morning, you wake up and you do this, and then you move to that, and then you move to that, and it's the same order every single day, you won't waste time debating, well, should I do this or that? What order? Should I do this, then that? And delaying yourself from actually accomplishing what you want to accomplish. So for me, I want the solid routine. I want it to be in the morning. I want to have a separate one for night. I want to have a set time for myself to have creative time where I'm not working on anything in particular, but just allowing myself to have time to be creative. I also want to incorporate more time for relaxation because I find that when I have a to-do list with 20 things on it, I just start to feel crazy trying to accomplish every single thing and I get burned out quickly. So finding time for relaxation and incorporating that into my to-do list is important for me this year. So the next photo I wanna talk about is my inspiration, my inspirational photo. And this is a photo of Jane Liu. And for those of you who don't know, Jane Liu is the CEO and founder of Shopo, which was my favorite, favorite clothing store for so many years. I think I fell in love with them in probably 2014, 2015, and they were my favorite store for five years or so. And their style has kind of changed over time, so I have a lot of other stores I probably go to more these days, but I'm still so inspired by Jane Liu. Her story is just so inspirational about how she started her business. And I love watching her, all of her social media posts, when she makes YouTube videos. I love it all. So my goal would certainly be to be just like Jane Liu. Um, she's one of the most successful women in Australia. And I think it's important to include someone on your vision board that you can look up to and you feel inspired by and someone you want to one day be like. What I wanna talk about next is the quote on here. So I think it's important for you to find a quote that really resonates with you and include it on your vision board so it can be a reminder for yourself of why you are doing what you're doing and working so hard. For me, this quote is, successful people are not gifted. They just work hard, then succeed on purpose. So for me, this is a great reminder that I have to continue to work hard, even on days when I don't feel like it, or I'm struggling, or there are often days when I feel like I'm not making enough progress, I'm not where I wanna be. I remind myself that I just have to continue to work hard because nothing in life comes easy and everything worth having requires hard work. So for those of you who are struggling and feel like you're not making enough progress, remember all of the people who set out to have these big dreams and start to work on them and realize they're really hard or they're not where they wanna be and give up, those are the people who fail. The people who make it to the top are the ones who keep going. And they might even fail at some point, but that's okay because you learn from those failures and you try again and you keep going because all the people at the top have failed at one point or another and there's no such thing as an overnight success. So for me, this quote really resonates with me because it reminds me that whatever I want to accomplish, all of my dreams, they are worth the hard work. Next, I have my home office photo. So like I mentioned, I am... I do have a new home office and I'm working on redecorating it right now. I've actually ordered a new desk that of course is back ordered like every other piece of furniture in America right now. So um, one of my goals is to have my perfect home office up and ready so I can go in there and just feel motivated to work hard. I want it to be you know, nice, crisp and clean and just a great working environment. So that's one of my goals. Now the next photo is the picture of money with the arrows going upwards. So of course we all want to be profitable in the upcoming year. I mean, who wouldn't? So I think when it comes to setting a goal for yourself and having um, wealth or profits be on your vision board, you wanna come up with a realistic number that you can think about when you look at this vision board. And that's gonna be different for everybody. 
but I do think it's important to be specific about what goal you're trying to reach to as opposed to just saying, I want to be rich, I want to be wealthy. I recommend coming up with a specific figure that is realistic for you and you can actually keep track of every month to see if you're on track and then think about what you need to do differently next month to make sure you reach your goal by the end of the year. I just myself, you know, I want to include on my vision board some personal goals outside of my store because for me, when I'm looking at my vision board, other than the aesthetic board, I really want to only look in one place. So that's why I'm including personal goals and business goals for you. If you need to break out those two for whatever reason, feel free. But for me, I want personal goals to also be included on my business goals vision board. And lastly, you may have noticed the photo of myself in the center of the vision board. And the reason for that being is I think it's really important that when you're looking at your vision board that you see yourself on there so you can really think about how it's not just all of these out of reach goals that I'm never going to accomplish, aspirational goals that are so far from where I am now, but to really envision myself actually accomplishing them and know that it, I am capable and that it is possible and to actually see myself accomplishing the goals as opposed to just looking at these goals that feel so far away. So I haven't really heard of other people putting themselves on their vision board. You don't have to if it doesn't really make sense for you. But for me, I think it'll be really valuable to see myself as someone who can actually accomplish these goals and see myself accomplishing them when I think about my vision board. Because the thing about vision boards is that when you're looking at them every single day, you have to feel good about yourself and feel positive and imagine yourself accomplishing these things as opposed to just thinking about Jane Lou or a model looking nice in a photo. You have to see yourself actually in their footsteps or the one who's posting the amazing photo of that model with that great aesthetic. You have to think of yourself in the shoes of these people or things on your vision board to know that you are capable. So in terms of actually creating your vision board, I do recommend starting to think about what you would like to include on it. You can browse Pinterest and start to pin different things so that when you're actually ready to pick out either your categories or just what you want to include on your vision board, you already have a Pinterest board of inspiration that you can pull from. And then from there, you can physically print all of the pictures. You can create a poster board, hang it up somewhere that you see it every day, or put it into a notebook that you can browse through every single day. What I've actually done in the past is I have saved all of the photos individually on my phone and then created an album called Vision and then the year, Vision 2022. And then I would spend five minutes a day, I'd actually set a timer and spend time looking through the album, spending maybe 30 seconds or so on each photo and really visualizing myself accomplishing each goal, each thing on my vision board. And that's really handy if you're on the go a lot and wanna be able to pull out your vision board anytime. Um, if you're commuting somewhere and you need, you have extra time, pull out your vision board and just look through it for a few seconds. Um, and then lastly, in terms of actually creating the vision board, I did use Canva for the template that I showed you guys today. They actually have a ton of great pre-created templates for vision boards that you can use to simply upload your photo and then drag and drop it in. And that's what I did with the vision boards that I showed you guys today. I didn't even have to spend much time editing at all. So if you are interested in checking them out, I will link them down below. But like I said, they have great templates available for you. And this is what I'm gonna plan to use moving forward. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am gonna show you my 2017 vision board now, um, but make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.